energy performance is on everyone's mind. Global challenges to the Earth's environment will continue to test us far into the future. So developing the necessary skills to address the world's needs is paramount. Infrastructure can help overcome these challenges and help sustain the environment by reducing our ecological footprint. Who will transform potential solutions into viable realities in the future? It's simple. The talent required to design, build, and operate tomorrow's infrastructure is in school today. Bentley understands the value of planning for the future. To help prepare and promote young talent for the careers that will build a sustainable world, the B Careers Network offers schools and students a program with the technology and training they will need. Everyone is very focused on conserving resources. Um, buildings consume a huge amount of resources today. Uh, and designing buildings that are less resource intensive is better for the environment and ends up with uh, uh, buildings that not only perform better but cost their owners less to operate. Bentley, we really like to tackle the hard problems and this is definitely a hard problem. Um, so the way we do that is we look at all the factors that go into the way a building is designed. So everything from uh, doors and windows and wall constructions and roof and floors to environmental aspects, HVAC systems, and even having a local weather model. And until you bring all those components together, you really can't fully anal analyze the way a building runs. Yes, yeah, so there's two problems. First of all is that there's lots of old buildings that just are bad performers. Right? If a building was built in the 50s or 60s or even before, it's typically got old technology, single pane windows, uh, window air conditioners, and energy costs weren't really a consideration back then. So we look at retrofitting existing buildings as well as really uh, nailing the design on a new building and, and everybody is concerned about sustainability. Everybody is concerned about conserving resources and you bring all that together and you need to have a tool that really allows you to, with engineering precision, take a look at all the different variables and figure out what's going to drive the building's performance. It's very important to us to have a close partnership with academia. We see the thought leadership and the usage of our products by faculty and staff and students is absolutely critical to getting the next generation of designs to finding the new ways, new, new ideas, way, new ways to think about things that will really get us outside the box thinking that will make our products better in the future. One of the needs that we really see in the market is tools that can take you all the way from A to Z. You know, there's a lot of good tools out there today that will help with the conceptual design phase that help inform an architect about everything from building orientation to some basic glazing ratio information. But the reality is to get a completed design, you've got to take it all the way through the detailed engineering design. And our tools allow you to, with a shared data set to go all the way from A to Z. We have a couple of products uh, in what we call Bentley's Energy Performance Series. We have Heva Comp and Taz, and both of those products have decades of experience delivering high-performing buildings around the world. You know, from uh, from Beirut to Hong Kong to Atlanta, they've been used by designers and are trusted by designers. And so, and we have a level of confidence that these these tools will allow engineers and architects to do the job they need to do. Well, we, we really, at Bentley, we really try to distinguish between high-performance buildings and just green buildings. And there's lots of uh, green buildings out there that were designed with great aspirations, but the reality is that many of those techniques or technologies weren't fully understood by the designers or weren't implemented properly. And so you end up with a building that had the best of intentions but really doesn't meet those performance characteristics at all. So we call those high-performance buildings that we focus on, not just green buildings, because I think green reflects the intention. Um, but a high performance building is really refl reflective of how the building performs, which is the ultimate goal. The project that we're working on right now for the Los Angeles Community College District is to build a geographical information system for the district. The district, Los Angeles Community College District, is composed of nine campuses. Combined square footage, there's about 4.5 million square feet of real estate that the district owns. And so what we've done is we've set up a small team in the E7 Architecture Studio of students. And those students are providing building information models to populate the geographical information system. The operational dollars to run the facilities are not abundant and are actually quite limited. And for that, we want to provide what's called net energy zero buildings. So all the new buildings that will be constructed under our initiative will be net energy zero buildings. And what that means is that there will be no consumption of energy that isn't provided by a renewable energy source within the campus. When you integrate the curriculum 
you start to get specialization and crossover clearer to the student early. So rather than seeing chemistry as just a course, they see chemistry connected to life science so that then when we make products and we select products, we understand what embodied energies are. And currently, most of the curriculum is really divided. That's over in the physical science department, that's in the biology department, that's in the design department. But for us to innovate design science and, and, and to provide these net energy zero buildings, it's really, really important that students understand horizontally across these disciplines. So you can look down at the high school level and now they're doing what's called integrated science. And that integrated science gets them to understand the relationship between biology, chemistry, and physics. The term energy engineer, the one who can take a simulation and say this as a building or this as an enclosed environment, a controlled environment is going to happen like this and it's going to operate like this. There's a new, new term that's called a, a, a climate engineer and those climate engineers are looking at what are the microclimates that are happening inside of this building envelope itself and how does that actually affect the psychology of someone inside of that space. So it's not only its exposure to the outside light, it's the exposure to the air quality, the freshness of the air, the, you, all of those factors are going to be taken into consideration. So these rules of thumbs that we used to follow in our profession of saying that size space needs this many CFMs of this type of air, I think are all going to go away once we start to really look at what a sustainable model is and how it operates. Hevecomp VHI and Mechanical Designer are uh, MEP design, building services design softwares uh, that can be used for the layout of MEP systems, for energy analysis, and to run simulations for the energy efficiency of a building. Hevecomp can also do all the load calculations outside of Energy Plus, um, whether you're looking at ASHRAE methods, SIBSI methods, which is the UK, or ERA in Australia. Um, you can also do MEP services design, so you can actually lay out your ductwork and your pipework systems within a building. Well, uh, going forward, we're seeing a lot more uh, things to contribute to a building's design and energy efficiency, taking advantage of the natural surroundings and the environment. We're seeing things like nighttime ventilation. Um, we're seeing things like underfloor air distribution so that you're not needing to put as much energy to distribute air within a building as you used to with typical old ductwork above ceilings pushing air down when air naturally wants to rise up. So going with an underfloor air distribution system, you're using Mother Nature to help you take care of your building. As more people are, are, are moving in this direction, it's becoming important to tie that into the building information modeling world, the BIM world, because that goes to support the whole life cycle of the builders. What we're doing is putting a graphical front end onto the Energy Plus engine, which is the Department of Energy's latest uh, energy analysis engine. By making these products available through the B Careers Network to students, they'll be able to use these um, in their coursework, in their labs, and in projects to look at the design alternatives, energy efficiency, uh, carbon emissions of buildings. Uh, to move ahead in their careers to be able to design energy efficiency, energy efficient buildings. The energy performance solutions you just heard about are now available to schools and in use by professionals. If your school already has a subscription, you can start learning today at no additional cost. To learn more or to start a subscription for your school or university, I encourage you to contact us. Your students already have the drive and talent that inspires innovation. Now give them the tools and knowledge they need to design the future and improve the world.